Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm showing nothing special, just a simple pulse motor with a very simple read switch uh, basic uh, circuitry. I will put the circuitry of this at the end of the video. Um, the voltage and the capacitor is now 0.40. Let me short it out completely so there's absolutely nothing in there. There's nothing in the capacitor. It's a rotor with six, six magnets, north-south, north-south configuration. And over here, the timing wheel, I have only three magnets. So the idea is for three magnets to, use, to be used as a drive for the rotor. And the other three are pure generator effect. This capacitor over here is uh, 25,000 UF at uh, 15 volts. This one is 1,000 UF at uh, 63 volts. I have over here a 100 million meter. Um, and when I give it a little spin, like you can see the voltage and the capacity is climbing because of three of these coils absolutely working as a generator effect. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fill it up the capacitor with 16 volts. 16 volts, put it down and give it a little spin. Gonna fill it up again, 16 volts, and then disconnect it. I'm getting my 16 from from there. It's completely disconnected now. It is a simple self loop system. Back EMF is also being returned by this dial to the capacitor and also the three magnets that are working as a generator also put some energy back in the system and it is running on yeah let's say two and a half maybe two milliamps without the self loop uh, uh, stage it will run on the double milliamps of that and of course it is already dropping which is more than normal but the uh, drop rate is not that bad. I have one coil over there. When it stops, I will remove the rotor so you can see the um, VHS bearing head and the coil. Circuit is very simple. You can't get any simpler than that. Like I said, I will put a diagram of it at the end of the video. Still decreasing. Still pulling around 2 milliamps and the speed is also decreasing. Yeah, I know it's a kind of boring. I'm still working on my other uh, larger projects, but they are taking, uh, yeah, more time than expected. So I decided to play around with the basic pull. Uh, pulse motor setups and sometimes it's good to go back to basic fault is still decreasing rotor 6 magnets north south north south timing wheel for the read 3 magnets you only pulse drive 3 of them and the other 3 work as a generator and you get also three times the back EMF back to the system. So you get back EMF and a bit, little bit of generated effect back to the source capacitor. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it now because I think you get the idea. I'm gonna remove everything. Uh, let me show this one out. See, nothing. There's nothing in the cap now. If I get a little spin, you see it climbs very fast, so uh, very simple and nice circuit to play with. If you're advanced or just an amateur like me. <laughs> uh, give me some time to remove all this junk over here. Yeah. 
this. Now you can see it absolutely better. Okie dokie, as you can see, the VHS bearing head, very nice if you can get one of these to use, they run perfect. No motor inside, everything is uh, completely gutted out. These are my six magnets. The larger the magnets, the better, because then the generator effect will be better, of course. Here's my coil, small gauge wire, uh, 0 0.25 millimeter, and a uh, ferrite rod. And nothing there, few wires, and that's about it. Okay, I will put the uh, schematic as I said at the end of the video. And next step will be the next video will be I'm gonna do the same again, use the same layout but using two re switches. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.